Don't you just hate it when you have unwanted guests for the holidays? Hi, I'm Nick with the E&E Realty Group. Just wanted to share a quick story with you. You know, the weather here in San Diego is starting to get a little bit colder. Had a couple of conversations this past week uh, with some clients and the uh, topic of rodents had kind of come up. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit of a story uh, that kind of impacted Jennifer and I hit uh, way too close to home actually hit in our home, right in our very home. We had a rodent problem here and uh, it wasn't fun. So we absolutely excluded the entire exterior of the building, you know, filled up all the, the cracks and holes with foam and steel wool and all that other good stuff. But the uh, problem actually persisted. So we called out Kathy with uh, Harbor Pest Control. She came out, took a look at the home, saw the exclusion, said, God, you know, everything looks good uh, on the exterior. I bet there's an issue with the standpipe in the bathroom. Uh, and that's probably how they're getting in. Right. And upon hearing that, I was like, what? That's ridiculous. I've never heard that before. I, I don't think. And she's like, I'm telling you, that's exactly what it is. And I'll bet you any amount of money. Uh, and I was like, OK, you know, so let, let's check it out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, standpipe is basically uh, it's a vent pipe, you know. So wherever you have water from your home going, you know, whether it's a toilet or a sink or anything like that going into the sewer, there's always a vent there so that the water can flow freely. So uh, we got, you know, the guy over uh, at Mori Plumbing, they came over. They dropped a, a camera down that initial vent line because we had heard the problem right behind two toilets. Um, and, you know, sure enough, lo and behold, there was about a six inch hole in the pipe there. Uh, and that's exactly where they were getting in. You know, there's the hole in the pipe. And then right next to it was the rat's nest, which is disgusting. Uh, so anyway, we cut the pipe out, repaired that. And uh, that was it. Problem solved, much to the elation uh, of my wife. So anyway, um, I just want you guys to know that now that things are getting colder, you know, when things get colder outside, that's when the critters outside want to try and get inside your home to get warm. So it's probably a good idea right now to do a couple different things. Uh, you know, just from winterizing the home, so to speak, go around, look for any uh, exclusion points, any holes or anything. Realize that a, a rat can actually get into your home through a hole the size of a quarter. Uh, they can get in there. They are they are crafty and super smart. So definitely want to have all that excluded. Uh, if you've got a chimney, you might want to get that swept here before the winter. Uh, have your uh, you know furnace looked at. Uh, change the air filter. All that other good stuff. I'm always telling my clients exercise all the valves underneath the uh, the sinks and stuff like that. Now is a good time to do all that stuff before we get into winter. This way uh, you don't have any problems. So that's about it. Uh, if you have more questions about rodents, uh, you know, reach out to a licensed pest control company. If you've got any questions about uh, whether or not this is a good time to buy or sell or what your home is worth or just any real estate related questions, I'm always happy to have that conversation with you. Just reach out. Uh, and that is it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy Veterans Day for everyone who's ever put a uniform on to protect this country. Thank you so much for your service and your family service. And uh, that's it. Happy holidays.